everyone, this is Kaboom and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks in this latest Mechanical Mayhem update. Let's get started! Dynamic Foundations versus Vehicle Foundations. 24 damage. 62 damage. When it comes to building your vehicle, be sure to use dynamic foundations if possible. They will hold up, they are stronger, and they won't break as easily. Currently in this update, we have three channels. One for going forward, one for going up, and to save on your other channels and make turning more easily, I believe doing opposite thrusters, which will allow you to turn with the push of a button, will be the easiest way to maneuver your vehicle until LEGO gives us four channels. Normally I tell people to punch, don't pick, but when it comes to these new tires, they are pretty tough. So in this case, you're gonna wanna pick and not punch. This vehicle behind me has seven balloons on it and they're all hidden because now in this latest update, add balloons to the side of these blocks. This will make for some pretty cool builds and will allow you to make cleaner builds overall. To place a balloon on the side of the block, just come to the side, hit your snap button, and place the balloon. Now you may have to end up putting some balloons on the top of your vehicle to help level it out, but this will give you the opportunity to hide some of your balloons and make your build look that much nicer. Your speed of your vehicle will be dependent on the wheel size and not the motor. Uh, in this testing, we took a base vehicle, we threw a, we kept the small engine on and we threw a large engine on the other one. And as you can see, we both finished about the same time. If you look at this other example, we have two vehicles with the same large engine. One has the large wheels and the other one has the medium wheels. And as you can clearly see, the vehicle with the large wheels destroyed the vehicle with the medium wheels. And make sure you don't miss out on this that has been added into the stair section. These are the vehicle stairs and they look really nice. If you guys look down here at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a power gauge letting you know how much fuel you have left in your power cells. That way you don't end up running out of fuel when you're out thousands of meters away from your base. If you jump on your vehicle and you start doing this, be sure to jump off your vehicle and check your wheels with a wrench. Chances are you forgot to change the direction of the wheels and that will cause you to do donuts, which maybe could be fun, but if you're wanting to go in a straight line, you're gonna have to switch up the directions of the wheels. Also, something else I've noticed is if you happen, if you jump on your vehicle and you find that you can't turn, you may have the wrong wheels in the wrong spots. Instead of having turnable wheels, you may have power wheels. So always be sure to check that. Another tip is when you're building a vehicle, sometimes you'll find that it might be difficult to get the wheel to turn green uh, in the location that you want it to be placed. Place the wheel up front until you find a place that's green and then drag it back into location. That will help you in placing your wheels. I'm not exactly sure what causes this, but I have found that some days uh, the wheels want to snap right on and other days I got to finagle around with them uh, until I can get them to snap on. Always be sure to add a rocket to your vehicles to help you get up and down the hills. And the last tip is be sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And as always, by God's grace, have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.